hey guys welcome back to yet another video now in this video i'm going to be showing you the most important tool in sketchup which is the select tool so to activate the select tool you can go here and click on the select tool here or you can press the space bar on your keyboard so the select tool helps you select stuff in sketchup which is pretty obvious since it's called the select tool so for example if i zoom in i can select the face by clicking once or i can select the edges as well by selecting the edge of the box now if i double click on a face it would select the face as you can see it's become dotted here and the blue line which is the border of the face so that is double click now what happens if i triple click so if i triple click it selects all the connected faces lines and edges so if you want to select the entirety of a model you need to triple click to select stuff all right now if you want to make a drag selection or a box selection you can drag from left to right so i'm holding the mouse button and dragging from the left to the right now what is going to come within this selection box is going to get selected so you can see that these faces only got selected as these were not in that selection box but if i drag and envelope the entire box the entire box would get selected so that's left to right now if i drag from right to left you can see that it turns to a dashed line this means that whatever is going to come in the path of this dashed line selection so i'm going to leave it here you can see that this face gets selected and all these edges get selected as well this face as well so that just means that anything which is going to come within the path of this dash box is going to get selected you can see that this line didn't get selected because that didn't come in the path of that dashed box now to explain that better let's say i want to select only this face so i'm going to drag from left to right so you can see that it would select this face since it came within that box since i dragged it from left to right now if i drag it from right to left it's going to select all of these faces as well so i hope that made sense and another useful function of the select tool is when you're switching between various commands in sketchup so what i generally do is if i want to push a certain face i would select this face and then click the push tool and then push it up now before going to the next tool i would press the space bar to activate the select tool and then select the next icon or next function in sketchup so in this case it's move so it's always a good idea to switch between tools by using the select tool command now before we go ahead i'm also going to show you how to access the large toolset bar which generally shows up here on the left so you can go to view click on toolbars and then if you scroll down you get an option called large toolset bar so you can either use the large toolset bar or you can use the getting started menu bar on top as well so you guys can select which one you want do not keep both of them since it would be redundant to have the same tools in different menu bars so you can either keep large tool set bar or the getting started bar for this course i'm going to keep the getting started bar and i'm going to use shortcuts a lot to model in sketchup so that was a quick tutorial into the select tool in the next few videos we're going to learn the other tools and then create boxes like these furniture and a lot more so see you guys in the next video cheers